So today I've come out to Arros Park up on the Isle of Mull. I've never been here before and I've just seen a sign for Arros Pier. So there is a big lake just to my right hand side, you can't see because we've got a ton of trees there. So there's also a lovely waterfall on the way out that I'm going to try and catch as well and I'll put that on a little bit later. Um, but yeah, join me shortly and we'll go and see what Arros Pier is like, if it's any good. We'll get some fair towers if not, <laughs> plan B. Here we have Arros Pier. In the distance you can see the beautiful town of Tobermory. Looks absolutely fantastic. Um, the shot isn't really doing it for me, it is just filler really. So I'll just spend a little bit of time in so if I can find a composition. I don't think I'm going to. But uh, I'm tempted to try and get on the pier and maybe some lobster pots and then uh, looking over to Tower Murray but uh, I will put this on at the end it's... actually I'll put this shot on now for you have a look at it so I'll give it neck at the pier it's uh, it is lovely and you've got a great view of uh, Tower Murray from down there as I was walking down there's a little tiny bridge and a little tiny waterfall so I'm going to grab a quick shot of this and then there's a shot of the lake I want to get and then as I drive out there's another shot of a big waterfall so I'm just walking over now let me just try and show you this little waterfall here if I can I'm going to try and check it just off this little bridge I'll just turn around little bridge is just there and look at that such a pretty little scene, I'm going to try and catch it. So give me a second, it's a bit tight in here, so give me a second and I'll uh, see what I can do. So another lovely little scene, but there's a lot of glare there, even with a the polarising filter on, it looks awful. Um, I did get a quick shot, did absolutely nothing for me. So I'm going to carry on walking. If it does turn out any good when it's edited, I'll put it on at the end of the video. Um, if you don't see it, you know the reason why. Um, quite disappointing really. Beautiful park this is though. Because so if you come to the Isle of Mull, come and have a walk around Arros Park. There is a great shot of um, Tarver Murray at the pier. It's a bit awkward to get on the pier because it's all fenced off and, and gated and locked. So, not the best really, but again, I think if you've got something like a 200mm lens, you'll get an awesome shot of Tobe Murray, especially as a pano with a 200mm, it'll look fantastic there. Shame I haven't got the 200mm with me. I'm now going to try a little shot, just here. We have these lovely lilies. Just look at this, and a shot up the lake. Lock. Keep forgetting we're in Scotland, it's a lock. So, I'm going to set up here and let's see if we can get something. So, lovely little lake. I'm just lining up a vertical shot, uh, just with the beautiful lilies heading off up to the lake. Looks looks quite a nice little scene this. Don't know what the photos are going to look like until I'm edited up. I'll show you the back of the camera. So simple composition. I'm doing a focus stack. I'm going to focus there, there and there. Um, the settings, ISO 100. I'm shooting F10. I'm 
just a little bit overexposed uh, because it's quite dark down there um, it's giving me a thirteenth of a second I have a polarizing filter on as well just to take some of the glare off um, looks beautiful that looked quite nice I do like these lilies <coughs> pretty little plants um, I noticed as I come out of the car and I started walking down this track there's a couple of gnarly little oak trees and I thought on the way back I'm going to try and just see if there's a shot there with a gnarly tree in front of the lake lock so I've lost Betsy she's legged it again she could be anywhere um, I'm going to go and try and find her. Join me at the uh, these little trees if I can get something lined up. Just look at this. Really mossy old tree roots and rocks. This looks lovely. I'll just turn you around. The little twisted tree down here is the one I want to try and frame up now if I can. Uh, I'm looking out so let's go and have a go so I've just took a little composition here it's not quite doing it for me again I think I would need just to spend more time here I haven't got really that much more time but I've just noticed there's a path at the bottom here and there's an oak limb just the tree looks like the trees fell over into the water and I'm thinking, there's all lilies round it as well, so I'm thinking maybe a nice little composition there with that tree. So I'm now going to try and get my way down. God knows how, where's the path go down here? I'll just show you quickly this uh, tree. This is the tree. And I think from just down here, you may get, there's a big limb that goes out into the water. And I think there may be a shot there. So I'm just going to go and try it. The tree looks great. Just look at that. Looks amazing. Looks amazing. So I'm scouring this uh, bank now. And I'm struggling just to try and find a little spot I'll just turn around and show you this is what I'm after but I want it looking up the lake if I can I love that little dead piece coming out I might try and try something really precarious here no doubt I'm going to end up with a splash but this does look absolutely fantastic here so I'm going to keep working it, I'm going to keep working it. Just walking around, just look at this. I'll turn you around. Beautiful gnarly trees, everything is moss covered in here. Again, I'm just struggling to find a composition. Um, I have just took a shot from the other direction, I've come here to see what it's like from here but I'm really struggling it's just that little bit too cluttered for me um, as everybody knows woodland scenes so chaotic it really is hard to get intimate detail in scenes so again I'm gonna have a little go here there's, there's a tree oak tree coming out of the bank and up it looks fantastic I'll just show you from the other side just growing out of this great big rock is this fantastic moss covered it's got little ferns growing out of it looks beautiful and I climb up on the bank and see if I can catch something up there now there's got to be a shot here there's got to be it is just finding it beautiful area though bit tricky for photos but 
well worth a visit well worth a visit Arros Park on the Isle of Mull loving it here now I've got to give up on the idea I've got to give up on the idea it is absolutely fantastic here and again because this stuff is too dark moss covered root systems just these trees are just growing out of big rocks it looks incredible so it's the first time I've been here um, I was just driving back down from Tarba Murray and I saw it and I thought I have seen a picture of the harbour at Tarba Murray from here so I thought I'll pop down and have a look see what it looks like but this is incredible I am loving everything is so mossy beautiful I jump in the car and I'm going to head up to um, the big waterfall so join me there that does look spectacular as long as I can find a nice little shot nice little composition I think there'll be an epic shot there it does look beautiful so where's the car right catch you shortly so we're now at this spectacular waterfall I'll just get on the bridge and show you just look at that business absolutely stunning again I haven't got a clue where I'm going to shoot it from uh, don't know don't know let's have a look on the side of the bridge just look at this for a scene stunning this is what Arras Park must be all about uh, it's a beautiful place I've struggled with photographs but this this is just awesome just look at that I can't wait to get in there just can't wait this waterfall just keeps going on and on and on it looks beautiful I'm loving the black on the rocks and the green moss oh it just looks fantastic let's try and line the shot up here uh, and then work my way back down I'm out of breath I've come up there's just waterfall after waterfall beautiful absolutely beautiful it is this must go on for probably a mile this waterfall it's just stunning so let me get a composition here and I'll talk you through the shot so don't know if you can hear me with the noise of the water but the shot is I'm literally going to do a focus stack on the rock there and on the rock over there just to get everything in focus um, I'm loving the contrast with the black and the white looks beautiful it does this is absolutely stunning the settings for this I'm shooting this ISO 400 I've had to come up and I'm using f8 to give me a sixth of a second just because it is so dark in here uh, it looks just beautiful so I'm now going to walk down towards the road and the bridge it, uh, it's, it's enormous this waterfall it must go on for probably I would say a good half a mile I think my estimate of a mile was a, a bit much but just look um, I'm just walked probably 300 yards and it's still just falling I can see the car and the bridge probably another 200 yards away so there's 500 yards so amazing absolutely stunning um, it looks good from the other side 
there's a lot of moss covered rocks again everything is moss covered in here the trees the rocks everything is absolutely beautiful so I want to try and work my way down I think I may have to just try one off the bridge because it looks a bit sketchy getting down there I don't fancy slipping and twisting an ankle or anything it's uh, it does look proper dodgy down there yeah I'm gonna, find, I'm gonna find something beautiful this is so I'm back down by the road and I'm loving if you can see it on the GoPro beautiful log just fell looks like there was a tree just here somewhere and it's collapsed now into the river as you can see there's a big drop it, it is proper sketchy to get down here um, I've just took this shot not the best it's a nice photograph um, that's pretty much it really I'm going to do a vertical now just to see what that looks like but I'm going to take the shot off the bridge I'm just going to try and get over the other side I don't know where to start. I wish I could get down. So I think that's where I need to be. Now again I'm struggling. This big branch in front of me is in the way. That branch, that limb wasn't there. You get a cracking shot from here. Um, don't know if you can see it on the GoPro. The way it just runs right up the hill. It looks beautiful. I, uh, I think I'll head back to the car. I'm not going to bother with this shot. It's just too messy with this uh, branch here so I uh, might have a quick little look the other side of the bridge but I think this is going to be the nicest part I think I may come back tomorrow um, I'm leaving the island Friday today is Wednesday so I am fancying just coming here tomorrow morning and spending probably three or four hours here just to see what we can get um, and I'll try and get in the water I think the shots if I'm in the water so I'll find my uh, old boot out and still go from there I think so yeah I'm going to end the video now if, if there's any shots down the bottom here to be had I'll drop them on next uh, there are links below in the description to everything that I use um, all the gear everything check it out if you like the uh, images from here I'm not sure about the ones off by the lake and you know in the park um, as beautiful as it is it's one of those places that you're going to struggle to get photographs um, I hope it gives people a bit of pleasure and makes somebody you know, I want to come here because it is a stunning place this waterfall is just to die for there have got to be some absolutely epic images to be had in this it is so good it's unreal um, probably if not one of the best it could be the best waterfall on the island um, there's a few that are good this it's probably the best one that I've seen while I've been here. Um, yeah, I'll drop the images on now anyway. And until next time, take it easy.